up everybody and welcome back to That Chick Angel TV in another installment of The Bold and the Beautiful. Beautiful. You already know who's here at the table. We have Mrs. Kev on stage, Kevin Fredericks, or Kev on stage, and my husband Marcus Tanksley, who's already eaten, also known as Marcus Ain't on Graham. And obviously we have none other than Joshy Gons on the camera. So today we are eating from a place called Italian food. Spumoni. <laughs> Spum Spumoni. 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 Eyes, it's good. It's good. Mine is good. Let me get a um, piece of He wants a pizza. Um, and uh, we also have the fifth or sixth member of the group because my children don't really care to watch their little brother. <laughs> Oh, now you come around the corner? I, I already sold him. You said no. Oh, Mark can't be watched. It can't be held. I just picked the bird pizza. Oh, thank oh. you. You gave me good kisses. Can you go with your brother? Yeah. Okay, I'll just call you in here if he does too much. You go. Thank you, thank you. All right. We need paper towels. I got it. I'm on it. We're here now. As you all can see. He's a great kid. He's just so sweet. He's a good kid. They're all good kids. Thank you. So do you guys. They're all my favorites for different reasons. Ah, ah. Um, so, today, we had a toss-up between marriage regrets and a um, couple pet peeves. Now, the reason why I had picked couple, I had said couple pet peeves, because I remember distinctly one time where Melissa said, one thing that Kev cannot do is joke about her with um, another uh, woman. Like, there will be no inside jokes about Melissa. There will be no outside jokes about Melissa. <laughs> Are there any other hard, fast rules that you all know, like, this is a thing that we don't... Yeah, is that line? I'm trying to think of we, what of ours is like... I just shot at me three weeks ago. Shot at shot you? At you. Mm -hmm. You're so stupid. <laughs> You're so stupid. Mm. Wait, what's so funny? Oh, so really, it was like, this is going to be a really funny story. <laughs> Not realizing it was just all a joke. All a joke. Oh, my nerves. He was gone literally until we started recording. Did you know? No idea if there's something that you're like, Angel. Okay. You can do no that was nice. I can't get off of me. <laughs> Stop there. <laughs> uh, we, I know Marcus, and now we have become more of him. We are not. Fan of public displays of affection. Oh, I'm not either. Okay, I, I, I see to a couple kissing and telling each other damn in public. I want to push them over <laughs> into traffic. What is it about public affection that bothers y'all? It's disgusting. I do not have every part of it. Especially when you can hear it. He's oh. coming, John. Okay. And then we knock over your equipment. I used to not, it not bother me, but because it bothers him so much, now it bothers me. Now it's become one of my pet peeves. I used to not care about that. I used really? To I don't, cannot stand to hear people chewing or someone chewing gum, even though she does it. I never paid attention to it until she used to bring it up all the time. I don't do it, but she would always call other people out, and now I'm just like, hey, stop chewing your gum. <laughs> Stop <laughs> throwing your gum. Yeah, is it specifically yeah. just the even if their mouth is closed or is it the smacking? It's the smacking. It's, yeah, it's smacking. I oh, had what is it? Smacks so bad. Is it called mesothelioma? No, it's called yeah. mesophonic. Me what is that? Mesothelioma too. No, it's a thing where you can't take the sound of uh, other people chewing. It's like a little it's like thing. A condition, mm. right? It drives me and say, Marcus, when he's really hungry. He's not doing as bad now. His breathing, he sounds like a extremely obese person who has um, breathing issues when he eats, and I want to choke him out. I eat, I mean, I breathe. Very loudly. Hard. Like I'm out of breath. In life. Yes, that's yes. how he eats. Yes, especially Very when I'm breathing out of my nose. Huh. She'd be like, why are you breathing so hard? I'd be like, <laughs> 
noticed uh, my brother Bree's laugh. And when me and him together, like we're in the car together. Miss Lawrence calling you. Who? Miss Lawrence calling. I don't care. <laughs> I will call. He came in strong. Hey, <laughs> somebody got. Uh, <laughs> it's like. Uh, I'm like, I'm working. My kids have no. They don't respect me. So, so me and brother Lou both be the same. Just ride this. <laughs> I was quiet, like he just rubs off on me. I'm like, yes, it's relaxing. Relaxing? It's like taking in the love and they say, you know? Marcus uh, also swallows uh, drinks loud. Oh, I drink loud. Now we got one. I drink loud. I was trying to think of one that was light and not going to cause an argument. It was going to be a real one. <laughs> I don't want to be beefing. We're going to go to combo. I need all, everything to be You need everything. You need everything. Melissa does You're this on purpose. No, because she, do she knows it bothers me. Don't do it. No, I'm gonna do it. No, I can't drink that out of here. Nobody wants to drink after me. No, because of the noise. You make it sound like it's going back to me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put my mouth on it. This is Melissa. And then she'll, when we're at home, she'll just be in the bed. Until I'm like, I'm like on my phone or playing the Switch or whatever. Until I look at her and then she'll laugh and then stop. So Angel would always get mad at me for drinking. I drink a lot of water. But then this chick got pregnant. And Angel drinking sounded like heavy duty machinery. Mm -hmm. That's what you like, get. Like, oh, 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 I'm like, really? Are you serious Angel! right now? <laughs> Marcus is like that, whether I'm pregnant or not. Because I'm healthy. Look at this. That sounds really like. <laughs> He's good with sound effects. I have to admit. He's good at making. I am too. But. Oh. <laughs> Angel is good at it. But Marcus, he didn't realize how bad it was until one time he did it during the podcast. He yeah. also did it on purpose. And I was listening to the podcast. I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> sounds like the mic is in his throat. I like my water. Who cares? You can drink water and not be that loud. I'm like, are you breastfeeding? What? <laughs> it's so loud. Ah, it gets on my nerves. This ain't really a pet peeve of mine, but Melissa does do this. In her 37 years of life, she probably has finished maybe three bottles of water to complete. <laughs> it's not true. I'm sorry. Let's be like, downstairs, one sip. Leave that downstairs. <laughs> Upstairs, forgot my water. Should I get the one I had to sip out of? No, new bottle of water. Two sips, put it by the bed. I'm going back downstairs. Should I get that water? No, downstairs. Three sips, put it by the one that I left downstairs. Next to her side of the bed, <laughs> six. It looks like she's doing a chemistry experiment of like <laughs> what different bottles of water. It's like if I'm not, if she ain't, when she wants water, she also wants the crack of that sound uh -huh. when you open it. That's also Every part time. of the experience. Uh -huh. So if I'm not getting that, uh, that one's old water. This is a funny one. It's not a pet peeve. This is actually, this is one that I've accepted. I like how Kevin's protecting herself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when we're in hotels, she, I had never thought about this until she said it. If she leaves a bottle of water open, or you know you have like a glass of water and you got room service. Mm -hmm. If she leaves the room and housekeeping comes in, oh, yeah. she will not drink the water yeah. bottle. I feel that way at home, too. Yeah. At home? That's yeah, that's why I don't finish the waters. <laughs> who, go, who goes to I don't know. Y'all be nasty. So now when we be at hotels, I be going to drink and I think my mind flashes and housekeeping is like, I'm peeing in here, but my pee is clear. I do, it, I do it everywhere, even at work. Really? If I leave a bottle out, I'm like, I ain't drinking that. Do you drink anything if you left your room and come back and housekeep and have the cane? No, once I leave, it's old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, need one of them, old. you need one of them water things that tells you you've been doing good today. Oh. <laughs> like I'm not here for that. There's, no, oh, there's no new water on earth. <laughs> All water is millions of years old. You've been here. Hmm. I'll love it. Every piece of water that's ever been on earth already existed. Yeah. Spumoni. That's the name of the restaurant, my whole person. He looked at you like, man, let me he take this. Like he thing. had it like a carry-on. <laughs> let me take this. Why are you stopping me from my goal? Do y'all have any pet peeves that you purposefully do in spite? I drink that water like that on purpose. Do you? <laughs> I do do that on purpose. But now I think I do it so much that I think I actually do it now. But it started off on purpose. 
I don't know. What, I can't think of what I do on purpose to mess with Melissa. Marcus definitely excuse me. He does this uh, one laugh when he's eating. Uh, is it is the laugh or is it? Oh, it's while he's eating. Oh, this is what he does. On purpose? Because he knows that I'm ready to kill but him. But she has something, I can't remember what it is, but she has something she does, so I do that in response. You'll be like, oh. I feel like all y'all do is bother each other. I don't know. I'm glad we're working this part. But it's so good. That's what he does. <laughs> you know what? This weekend? And I'll be like, okay, again. I got you. I got you. Just celebrate the house. This is a good part. <laughs> We'll say that's what we do, we pick on each other. Marcus Not gets time. mad because I talk, I get loud when I talk on the phone to certain people. Oh, the phone? Don't let us be in a restaurant. Angel will be talking to me, but she will make sure that everybody around hears our conversation. I'm, like, I'm hey, not man. trying to make everybody no, no. hear our conversation. She'll do it on purpose, but for some reason her voice elevates. It goes from. Yeah, so she called me. <laughs> Did, did I tell you that she called me the other day and told me this? So I'm like, girl, I'm like, Angel. You know what I mean? I'm like, no, I'm not. I ain't going to talk loud. Oh, and yeah. I talk louder when I'm on the phone. Oh, yeah. Then after a couple of drinks, Angel's like, so they can hear this conversation. I don't care. I had one too. What they going to say? Mm -hmm. No. I know you talk loud on the phone. When you be on the phone with Joby. Joby! Oh, my God. Joby! <laughs> I did not know Toby was there. Melissa used to get so mad at me at our old house because the <laughs> voice, my voice, it, the way the house was, everybody's voice carried. But I'd get up and, and talk to Toby at 7 a.m. our time. And just and the voice would just come all the way up the stairs into the room. Then I'd go in the backyard and come right to the window. No, I'd have to go in the garage and talk on the phone because I cannot not talk. Why, why do you think your voice is, why, why are you so loud? My whole family is kind of loud. I'm thoroughly convinced he thinks people can't hear him on the phone. Mm. That's Can my you hear mother. Mm -hmm. And I listen to videos really loud. It drives my son JoJo crazy. You don't have a hearing problem. I could actually. <laughs> it's hereditary. I might be losing my hearing. And my mother, she um, uh, you're if you're losing sorry if you're losing your hearing, it's a result of you hearing yourself. <laughs> You definitely you gonna learn ASL to be with to be with me? Say it again. You gonna learn ASL? No, I'm gonna just yell back. <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> you sound like Moira. Kevin! 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 The escalator. <laughs> it always pronounces the weird part of the word. Oh, it's the best. Or emphasizes a different part of the word. You know that was Marcus Tuxley. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, how you do, how you find the word part? She's yeah. great. She's great. It's in the aperture. She is. Melissa loves her. The dog on wig be sending me to heaven. <laughs> she just have them smacked on that wall like that. When they, she puts them on there, I mean, and she never LaBelle mentions it. Never. Ever. Never. The, the way, way she coordinates them, it's a vibe every time. One of the favorite, I know, I know we're off track, but. It's a fantastic show. I One agree. of the my favorite setups for this show was when she had her daughter signing up some paperwork. She said, I think you fill this one spot in. She was like, what, what, what one spot? She was like, the one at the end. She was like, my middle name? She was like, yeah. She was like, do you not know my middle name? Alexis, I was busy. I couldn't think about it. <laughs> Alexis, I was busy. Oh. You're busy like I was like us, sometimes trying to come up with meal ideas is difficult. That is why we are so thank you for HelloFresh for sponsoring this episode of Father the Beautiful. Wow. So grateful. Oh, I did not use you, Kevin, but I do use HelloFresh. Yeah. Um, when I tell you they are just the premier, okay, the premium, all right? Meal delivery uh, service that you can get with mouth watering, mouth watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door, and all of the ingredients are fresh and pre-measured. Okay, now let me tell you, let me tell you a couple of things about it. 
HelloFresh cuts out the stressful meal planning and grocery store trips, so all you have to do is enjoy the cooking and dinner and on the table in about 30 minutes. That's one thing that I have a huge problem with. If I cook, we, you waiting for a solid hour, hour, hour 30, you ready to go to sleep. But with HelloFresh, it's boom bada bing. And uh, you can't even order food that quickly. You gotta wait at least an hour sure. after you order yeah. food. You, you're not gonna get services. It's a long time. It's a long time. And you're already hungry them, when you order. And don't yeah. let them cancel your order. Oh, oh. I never wanted to murder somebody. An hour and a half later, you could cancel as soon as I put it in. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. the most frustrating thing. Um, what's also great is that HelloFresh offers 25, uh, well, actually more than 25 recipes to choose from each week, okay? From vegetarian meals to craft burgers and extra special gourmet options. There's something for everyone to enjoy, and with all the recipes designed and tested by professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure deliciousness and simplicity. Now, this is the part that I love because I, my biggest thing is, is I have ran out of ideas. I don't have a lot of ideas. I'm not very creative in the kitchen, so to be able to have somebody give me creative ideas so that my children are not looking at me like, okay, so we got chicken and broccoli again. Yeah. Right. Seven, one more time, I swear to God, I'll <laughs> run away. Like, why, why? <laughs> then you get something fancy from HelloFresh, and they're like, okay, mom, I see you, I see you in your bag. No, I'm in HelloFresh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, HelloFresh is brag. Uh, HelloFresh is back. Uh, Josh, we use a HelloFresh. What was one of your favorite meals? He was mm-hmm. making for a woman that was dating him. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, I like the steakhouse pork chops. They're good. What I like, what I like about HelloFresh is, since a lot of time, um, you don't need to be buying too many groceries. Yeah. Sometimes you buy groceries that go bad. Yeah. You don't need to be what? buying a lot of groceries, Josh. You're right. So Zoom it's. On Josh. <laughs> Joshua actually really cooked HelloFresh, you guys, and sent me this picture. What is this, Joshua? Is it meatballs? That was meatballs, the right? Thai coconut meat? pork meatball plate. With sweet rice, roasted green beans, and peanuts. And peanuts. I saw that on your Instagram story. Literally. I wanted to eat it. Let me see. That looks great. It looks that looks good, Josh. It looks good. Let you know how good it is. Josh is a bachelor. I'm a mom of four. The fact that they're able to uh, make this work for someone who lives on their own in a family of six, like, you know, you are winning. Yes. Okay, with well, HelloFresh. So, this is what we want you to do. Ooh. Go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB12. TBTB12. And use the code TBTB12. TBTB12. 12 free meals. What? That's what I got. The shipping. I, let, That's let, all right, HelloFresh. Let, let me tell y'all one more time because I, I don't know if y'all heard me. Go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB12. TBTB12. And put in the code TBTB12. TBTB12. For 12 free meals, including free shipping. Oh, my husband over here dying, but I'll eat his HelloFresh. It is highly... <laughs> HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Booyah. Uh, <laughs> I almost drowned. Ah, ah, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, <coughs> I'm starting to get a we only have one TV, TV 12. Two. I said, oh, she's running the back. Yeah, you guys said what? You know one thing that I oh, don't like? And it's only happened to us once. So that is, it hasn't happened to us again. I don't like for no woman that doesn't, have, maybe I haven't met, but knows my husband, to speak to him in the first thing that isn't out of my husband's house, uh, mouth after hello. If it's not, this is my wife, Angel, my attitude is already after. Wait this. now, say one more time. So say there's a, a woman that happens to know my husband. Whether Hi, Marcus. Is. How are you? And, oh, and then there. he doesn't then say, this is my wife, Angel. And it's just this. If it well, gets. he just says, hey, this is my wife, Angel. That's the, all you get. He cannot say anything else before introducing you. Nothing. And I don't want exactly to, I don't want to, how you doing? It was what are you, Not even how you doing, it's my wife, Marcus, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm here for my... <laughs> no, yeah, he has, oh, this I'm is here my wife, Angel. This is my wife, Angel. Oh, oh you said they can't even answer the question? I don't want no. Wait, no, no. She, he, they, he answered the question. Is, is this, this going to cause, cause an argument? argument? They, they were chopping it up. She wasn't over there yet. That is my body. Okay, didn't let have me understand. Oh, this is a real story. Yes, it's okay. a real story. My body Mark did not have to be fully over there. Yeah. I can wait. You weren't even with him. No, I was there. But you were standing next I to him. I was standing like close feet. enough. No, 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 no. Because I heard her say Marcus, and I was thinking, who 
knows my husband. I was saying the same thing. And so he turns around. He turns around. And I see in his face, he recognizes her. He's like, hey, what's up? How you doing? She's like, I'm good. And she's like, what you doing here? And he's like, oh, it's my boy's birthday. And she's like, oh. Still no mention. I agree with you, Marcus. <laughs> I agree with you. So I interrupt the whole conversation. Oh, of course you did. Hi, I'm Angel. Who are you? She already knew who did it you is. really? Yeah. Straight like that? Yes. This will keep us from arguing later on by me going ahead and making this introduction happen right now. Because if there's any more words between the two. And it's not my voice eventually in there. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to second it. I'm going to adopt. I'm going to adopt. Okay. You didn't feel like this before? I, I, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to say that it was there and I didn't articulate it. So I'm just going to. So that's been brought up many times. Fast forward to years later. Okay. Um, actually, just a couple of years ago, we went to a friend's birthday party. And it's a bunch of, yeah, it's I don't a bunch know. of, just oh, listen, I don't it's know. a bunch of uh, sorority and fraternity, as if I give a damn about any of that. You're GDI, Marcus. Yeah. So this frat brother sees, uh, is introduced to Angel. So they do this whole, let me hug you and hold you tight. And whisper all these secret fraternity and so on. Oh, and and, and Dell was going to have no connection. It 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 wasn't no, oh, this is my husband. It was like, oh, now I'm wrapped up in your in your arms like a goddamn bat. (laughs) Like literally 15, 20 seconds. I was like a bat. And I'm like, it wasn't like. Oh, you were the bat. You were the bat. I got my drink in my seat. I was like this. And it wasn't no, uh, I'm sorry, frat brother. This is my husband, Marcus. I mean, it was a Angel, complete, explain it, yourself. Oh, complete, completely engulfed. Tell me more of the story so she looks oh, back. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm standing there, and I'm like, I'm less than a foot away. I'm like, oh, I'm like, Angel, I'm like, how are the table tables and have like, turned? <laughs> and then, and then other friends are trying, well, you know, that I don't care what y'all I ain't do. trying to hear none that of that, that 1906, 1908, 1912, I don't give a damn about none of them dudes. <laughs> or them letters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like Greece, the country. Yeah. 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 You are Greek. Why are you getting all loud? Yeah. I, I like, like it, Marcus. That, you should be louder. To be a pet peeve, and this to happen no, literally like eight, exactly. years I, eight years later. Eight years later? Let so. me tell you. So wait, hypocritical, yes. No, 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 no. Understand, you know what I'm saying? Objection, angel overruled, sustained. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> what color was the black? <laughs> <laughs> it was dark. Here's the thing. Is that I wanted to introduce Marcus to this person. I didn't hear anything they said. So I was just like, after I, they were like, blah, 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 blah. I was like, blah, 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 blah. and then I would turn to Marcus, and Marcus is sitting there drinking. The dude had, was not even standing beside me no more. It was. <laughs> it was. Oh, this is Angel. She's dead. This is me, though. This is me. <laughs> that long angel? I'm telling you, he said all his years and founders and all that bull crap. What kind of stuff would he say to you? Well, they just tell you like where they cross, uh, where, and when, like, no, that's just where, a, when, they and, and, and like life. his the club. Right? So it wasn't my this is my husband Marcus. It was. Yeah, it was, never did get that. No, I could. When we were like, like, when, when, <laughs> I'm a husband. Listen, we were in a very GDI. <laughs> very loud club right so he was yelling it in my ear whatever the stuff was I could not hear anything mm-hmm. <laughs> and the, and it we, doesn't matter what he was saying you you right. it you right. a woman. It don't matter. I don't care what she was saying she you, was right. saying, you can say me and my family I don't care Marcus. you are right stop yelling but, you was Marcus, I love you. Right. Right. I, but I was also set up I wasn't oh, like oh was, now she was set up I Marcus was. Don't, don't sound like accountability to me, Tay. <laughs> you can't say I was. That's the reason why he wasn't uh, yelling at me that night. Because it wasn't like I went to that person and was like, No, I wasn't going to yell at you because I was like, What? And I just checked it right there. And then that's when our friend stepped in. No, that. Shut oh, up. another woman coming to defend her. Heifers. I'm talking ah! to her. And I was like, Again, it caught. I was caught off guard, That's and then I was just like, oh, "Okay, all right, okay, I'm Angel." Oh, uh, he's like, "All right," and walked off. 
And Marcus looked at me and I was like, I listen. <laughs> I know God, Brad, hey, Listen, man. it was the. I know they like 50 deep tonight, but two of them. Why is two of them can be see you. Don't regret it. They can see me. The, the rest of them, the 48, oh, they're going to stomp me in. But two of them. two of them go. They're going to be like, it wasn't worth it. it was like, <laughs> <laughs> let them get up. Let them get up. Yeah, let them. <laughs> That's how you feel, Melissa. There's a yeah, man. You can feel it. Yeah, too. I think I've definitely adopted that. <laughs> well, our the one story that you said at the top of the episode uh, is a true story too, though. When um, we were at a restaurant, this girl, we were at a restaurant, and another couple's daughter was choking. And I mean, like, literally, like, I was convinced she was going to die. Uh -huh. Like, you know, when you go through that, oh, no, she's choking. And then it's like, oh, no, oh, she's yeah, really choking. Like yeah, yeah, it yeah. got to that level of, like, elevation. They were, like, standing up. The um, workers came over. Like, it got for real, for real serious. So I was, like, low-key frantic. Like, oh, my God, we need to, like, call the police uh -huh. uh, or the paramedics or whoever to come save because this little girl finna die. I'm sitting, I'm the one looking. They're kind of, like, here. <laughs> Uh, they're like really nonchalant and I'm like I feel like we should call the police like I feel like it's getting because it was like that long where you have time to kind of like you know just eat mind your business and, and you're like can't breathe. yes yeah, that's a problem. so when it was all done and they eventually got whatever was in her uh, throat out or whatever she, everything was fine I'm still like my nerves are frazzled yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and so they're like going in on me about how frazzled I was when I tell you when I tell you I was pissed. This is the other thing. Kev's rule is. I'm so with you, David. Listen, Kev's rule of thumb is the joke always comes first. <laughs> My nigga, you didn't, you didn't say I do to the joke. Right, right, right. The joke right. never wears the ring. <laughs> what you're never going to do, I do, <laughs> is put me as the butt of your joke. And you and some other woman is going in on me for like two minutes. It wasn't even like 30 seconds. Oh, no, no. It was like extended. Ha ha ha. I'm going to say something. Ha ha. Now I'm going to say something. Now I'm going to go on top of that. Now, and I'm sitting there. You know when your nerves go from like frazzled from this moment to like, I will punch you. Right, 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 right. And then right. I'm going to, in your eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, to that point. I go. Yes. I like. I was so, like, I feel like my whole, I don't know if you could tell, did my whole attitude, like, because it was so <laughs> long. I, was like, you can feel it. I wasn't oh, hungry. We had just sat down, I was like, I don't like food. <laughs> I, I'm getting mad thinking about it, because I was so hey, this one, oh, mad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this I no, I am. no, 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 I'm not like that, but I was like, seriously, all right, move on. I was like, seriously upset, and then when I go to tell him, it's like, mm -hmm. uh, listen, she told me then. I need I need you not to do me like that no more. <laughs> then we got in the car, and I turned the key on, and she was like, "Let me tell you what you." I literally, I, I was so normally Learning when I'm upset, I usually like <laughs> take a beat. Uh huh. Self assess. Right, right, right. Why are you upset? Is this insecurity? Is this something you should work on? Uh -huh. Is this something that like is it really a reflection of you? <laughs> not that time. Chad, this I was is like, you. Oh, this is all you. I already know where I'm at. <laughs> you're not only this. this one. And the crazy thing about it, it was her homegirl. Which like, it wasn't like even though like, oh, this is my friend. You know what I'm saying? It was like this is her homegirl. I, I understand. I was like, you understand, Melissa? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to be friendly with me, man. You can call me up. Get your stupid fucking out of this car, you idiot. I know I'm dumb, man, but you gotta, you gotta, don't, don't throw me the bad boy, man. Don't throw me the scully. You gotta shut down the project. Scully. Liam did not deserve to be saved. He's all but the grace of Franklin. Franklin's saint. Jesus was a saint. Oh, I got to be frank with y'all. None of the grace. The way you just like. Yeah, that guy gonna give me that message. He gonna give it Let me tell you what lesson I learned in my life. Immediately, never made that mistake ever again. That's true. That one. That's I was like, nigga, there's nothing that funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nothing. Like, never. Nothing. No ha ha. ha. I get funny. I get situations and then not knowing until that moment, and then it's like, oh no, this is a cliff cliff, and I don't fell off. Bro. <laughs> it was like you was in the woods, and it's like, oh, the cliff. It was Mark a warning, it. yeah. 
I get that. Yeah, I learned. There's no excuse for hanging up. No, what? especially after what she said. Oh, she, no, no, this is what we can do. Is that <laughs> right? Amar <laughs> walks in like he pays it's the bills at this house. The, 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 the bald, the beautiful, like, yeah. and the baby. Yes! <laughs> he came around the corner like the little Marcus was trying to make it off the ground going in this room now. <laughs> and Marcus. the little bow leg, it really helps sell the whole like, I'm walking tall. Big balls. Uh, what's his name? Baby Finister. Who's the that? Little baby Tweety Show. The little baby with the tattoo. Who is Robin Banks? Banks? I'm old. Oh. It's alright, Ellen. You can be with Ellen. I'm old. I'm gonna just say Twisted. Somebody know what I'm talking about, though. <laughs> Um, and yeah, no, I, the, I ain't gonna bring up the one situation because it took us a while to get over it. I'll bring it up, man. Let's bring it up. Well, wait, but after this episode, I think we're all gonna need therapy. Yeah, we probably will. I agree. Uh, you sure. probably use better help. I concur. Oh, mm-hmm. absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> better help. I'm gonna tell you what. When you realize that there's something keeping you from your happiness or something keeping you from reaching your goals... That is when working with a professional licensed License. therapist can really, I mean, there's so many other situations where it can be beneficial, but when you realize that, that's when you need to be like, wait a minute, where, where better help, where are you, okay? Because let me tell you about better help. It's so fast and efficient. You can start communicating with a licensed therapist in under 48 hours. That's just two days. Okay? It ain't number two. It ain't number two. No. This ain't no crisis hotline. Uh-uh. All right? It is professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available, which might not be available locally, especially for those of y'all who might be in, like, a rural town. Uh-huh. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about it. Better help can help you. Yes. Um, What happens is you log into your account anytime, send a message to your counselor, and you will get a timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions, so you never, ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as as with uh, traditional therapy. Can I say something really quickly? Go ahead. I just recommended um, to someone I know, uh, BetterHelp, and she was really nervous at first because she said... I feel like I need to go into an office. I feel like this ain't going to be real doing this setup. She had her first session last week. I talked to her today, and she was like, that was the best thing I've ever Literally, she said that was the best thing i ever done. She has another appointment tomorrow, and she said, I am so looking forward. I had a really great appointment. They did the virtual so they can see each other. The lady made a really great connection, helped her with a lot of stuff. Like, not only is therapy great, but the idea, I know some people may be a little kind of skeptical or feel like, you know, doing virtual uh, therapy may not be the thing for you, but I assure you, it's good stuff. I want to say two, one more thing about <clears throat> the virtual for me is much more flexible and I, it saves me because my therapist was like 30, 35 minute drive with no traffic, sometimes up to an hour. Uh-huh. That makes therapy a three hour session. Right. Yeah. Mm. Better help makes therapy an hour long session and low key sometimes i'll be like can somebody in the waiting room hear me i really can't open up because i'll be in the waiting room and I mean, even though i can't hear i feel like when i'm in there they can hear because you talk loud you be so able to talk, talk loud talk really loud but i'll be in my car in the garage and i know nobody hear me in there nobody hear you so like, and that's what my wife did something amazing and that's why i love her <laughs> that's what you say Hoo-hoo. That's what you say. And if, uh, I, too, am happy about better health. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was great because I know some people are like, oh, therapy is a luxury. I can't afford it. Well, better health makes it makes therapy more affordable than traditional offline counseling. And financial aid is available. Oh, nice. What? 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 Yes, Amar. He's, a, he's all about it. Better health wants you to start living a happier life today. So visit Better Help. Dot com slash TBTB. TBTB. That's better H E L P. And join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using better health that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. This podcast is sponsored by Better Health and the Bald and the Beautiful listeners get 10% off their first month. At betterhelp.com slash TBTB. TBTB. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring the podcast. 
Yeah, this one thing which we won't really talk about, but it was a learning curve. Okay, it was a huge. You knew the hell and girlfriend. Well, y'all tell, 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 tell us after. If you oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll Marcus, let's that. become closer friends by sharing we'll our big mistakes. Uh, um, it took him a second, and um, it really, uh, you know, Marcus has a lot of prior to us dating, and still does. I have no problem with any friends he made prior to. Has a lot of friends of the opposite sex. Marcus, how did you get her being handsome and tall? That ain't got nothing to do with it. We came up together. Oh. <laughs> my nose. <laughs> and I feel like I have, I have been very fair in, in, in nice to all of. Am I? Yeah. Yeah. So that is like was a ground. I know like. You know, you know Eric from. I'm no Eric from Ball, not Ball and View from Married at First Sight. No. Ah! Yeah. I'm, no, I'm yeah, just no, saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm saying no. Well, I don't have as many male friends as you have female friends. No. Yeah, that's. So for me, it was still. It was now. It was something that I. I never had a lot of guy friends. So for him to have a lot of women friends. It was actually not that hard of a transition because most of, almost all of them are cool. Like there was none that I had to be like. Not I mean, like, Angel, we've had Angel's like guy friend. One of their guy friends has lived with us multiple times. Like really? Yeah. In the like, home? Multiple. He's multiple. lived with y'all multiple times. Yes. yes. Same one. In y'all's house. Yeah. In our house. We've had Sleep one of my. Uh huh. Slept. Why had to watch the kids? Listen, try to let's watch the wild. I was going to What I was going, ain't no God in it. <laughs> God brother ain't no relation. You can marry God brother. It ain't legal. We've had my uh. <laughs> it was my illegal. I mean, I two. Well, nah, he was. That's not a guy. It's a girl. Yeah. Well, we had one of my uh, female friends live with us as well for one, multiple, multiple times. Multiple, multiple times. Um, I don't know. Say so. Y'all are the family to go to. Well, not no more. No. <laughs> but Was we all. No, we had kids. Oh. Uh, we had uh, we had little Marcus. Ellen. Yeah, we had Ellen. <laughs> 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 we always felt like when we got our house because we were one of we were our first friends to own a house out here that mm-hmm. like. God didn't bless us to hold that. You Aww. know. To, so yeah. We and it would, was one of those situations of like. Of course, you can stay here. You like, no if you ain't got no other place to go, you it was one that made the pay rent. No, nah, it was one friend that like wore their welcome out, and I let them know, like, oh yeah, what are you say, Tank? No, it was no, the, the, the person was about to be sleeping in their car. I don't know where they were about to go. Uh, Again, they, desperate, desperate. Mm, but they, yeah. they wouldn't ask us though they because they had already lived with us two or three times. What bridge do y'all recommend to live on the property? And the person said, well, I didn't want to ask y'all because I didn't want to worry about welcome out. I said, you ordered like, the welcome out a long time ago. The welcome is gone. <laughs> it's been gone. I was like, However, we're we not going to let you Right. Sleep under no guy in your why you tell no somebody that? Because it's the truth. Now welcome work. back. Don't say nothing on that. Right. Yes. Yes. Go home where the yes. letters used to be. That's but come on in here and lay down. Kevin be getting on me. Kevin be like, y'all, let's see we were uh, texting earlier today about a message I gave somebody in preparation for them eventually talking to Kevin. And he was like, whoo. This sounds so harsh, Angel. And you I just don't like, do nothing about beating around no bush. No, for what? It takes too I'll much calisthenics. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to do it as easily as you do. I don't know why. I would feel like both of y'all. It's so funny. I would think yeah. both of you all would be able to punch this thing the like she could just say it like right. here. But one time, <laughs> the, the, one time direct, I mean. Mm-hmm. You, when you angels you direct, say, no, no, no. When you're direct, you're just angel. Because I'm typically not direct. If I am, it's because I'm being me. Oh, your intention is to be me. Oh, okay, okay. She's yeah. intentional. Cold read. <laughs> She's like, oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I can be very. Uh, coming for I can cut. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can oh. cut deep without cussing you out because I can speak very, very directly. And in her old age, she been more and more direct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the y'all, you. Somebody just told me the other day, uh, or told my sister, she was going off on me. And my sister you? was like, "Yes," and my sister, they were talking about me, and my sister was like, "She doesn't even really go off." No, that, so she was probably just speaking very directly. I don't think many people on earth could say you went. That's off why I'm like, I really don't go off. Except that old lady at that Denny's who said, who thought you was drunk when you threw up, and you said, "What?" 
first of all, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> she was wrong. It was so funny. She was mad that Melissa threw up in the middle of the thing. She was wrong. I wasn't. And Amanda thought she was drunk, and she was wrong about that. She was just regular sick. But it was New Year's Eve, so I mean, yeah, one can understand. Yeah, the assumption. But the fact that Melissa was like, <laughs> first of all, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why them girls told me. Oh. Um, I There's a but I was going to say that, no, this is the thing too, though. Kev is very direct, except when he's not being very direct. I I realize, <laughs> I, I have a hard, no, I, it does, it's maybe because I know myself. I have a hard time feeling like I'm hurting somebody's feelings. Right. It's, especially someone I don't know very well. If I know you well, I feel like I know how to navigate your feelings and say what I need to say, and hopefully without it coming across. Except when you were talking to Angel about the show and then you didn't know what to say. Yeah. That's because I didn't know it was one of That was three days ago. I mean, sir. I didn't know it was one That was sir. months ago. <laughs> really, sir? Really? Really, no. sir? But you, you blew it, up a whole argument know, with but that. It's just Literally messed up yeah, the whole because argument. Because the part that's not true is when you don't know them well. If you think you are hurting someone's feelings, that's when you'll back, back off being direct. Otherwise, you will send a text that will be like, Fine. And I'd be like, ooh, that's so rude. Why would you just say that? You're right. I think I have a Okay, I'm done talking to you. Bye. That I whew, when I'm off when I'm ready to get off the phone, I'd be like, I I know I could work on that. Cause I'd just be like, okay. That's I purpose that's enough words. I, I sometimes I purposefully call Kev and hold a conversation about that. Don't do that, Mark. Just because I know he don't Brennan, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring the directness out of you. There are certain people I prefer. I prefer not to talk on the phone. I know. If, if, if at all possible, I only talk on the phone when it is. It is actually more efficient to talk on the phone. And sometimes explaining a long thing by text is just voice my, note. Voice oh, note is good. She's a voice note person. Right there. Sometimes I feel like I send a voice note and it don't go, and then I feel like I just wasted my time. Oh, I'd be going through. But my brother and Brennan, they are some. I want to jump on a call. I'd be like, God. Me. No, and your brother says 10 minutes, that's an hour. Oh, no, I'm not dad. talking to Jason for less than 90 minutes. Mm. Period. I did. He loves it. He's yeah. unlimited nights and weekends yeah. all day. Yeah. Yeah. And his singular Bro, rollover. My guy, 1980s, baby. His first response on an email. We want to jump on the call. All you need to know is yes or no. Let's jump on the call. I'll tell you yes or no. I love a good phone call. Angel, Angel makes be yakking so it up. Yeah. Hey, yeah. girl, yeah, I'm just walking into work now. Keys jingling. Yeah. yeah we're going to get his start. Yeah. Love you. FaceTime. FaceTime. Literally be on the phone or FaceTime. My pet peeve of you. One of her friends, this walking up to the front door, and I'm like, y'all about to see each that other. Really happens. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was so her right. defense. That rarely happens. Angel will hold a conversation like minimum ninety minutes. Oh, she will talk. Oh, it's so and good. She gets so mad at me because I just be like, all right, bye. No, he don't say bye. Just stop lying. That's how he gets up. That's a that's a that I she I do not, need a formal bite. Do not R at me. I prefer it. Because by then I'm like not gonna get it. <laughs> that's that's uh -huh. part of marriage. Yeah. I would love this this way, but I know I'm you not. You know the difference is when uh -huh. Angel is rushing and doing something. No, no. It's like, what? Hey, okay, all right. Bye. I gotta go, Marcus. Bye. I'm at work doing stuff. So yeah, um, mm -hmm. that's right. So you know, the, uh, it. the guys, uh, you know, they're gonna bring in the. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, but it, it's she gets mad because I start finishing her, the painters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like, don't finish so, it. Let me, let me find so it. So they uh, sent over let the. Me find um, it. They sent you over the phone. Long. What did they say? Don't be rushing me. Hurry up! I'm working. I'm because gonna start calling her doing the. Doing there the has been. Let, this is a prime <laughs> example. He is a prime example <laughs> of times where he has rushed me. And it's been to his detriment. <laughs> yeah. When he first moved out here, he's looking for, he's going on uh, interviews. And he calls me because he. this is before phones had maps on. So you have to look up the direction map quest. Quest. Man, that's before a, you left. Sometimes I'll still say MapQuest. Yeah. I say it all the time. People look so, at me, young kids look at me like, like what? what? So he calls me. Am I supposed to get on the one-on-one -on -one and go to the thing? I said, okay, so you're going to go full five yes south. Then you're gonna take. Am I taking one on? Yes. He he. All right, bye. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, Marcus. Called me back. 
I got lost because one is tricky. he went one on one. He's and west. Yes. He went west. <laughs> and I was getting, I was trying to get to the point of when you get to the one on one portion, you want to stay to the left so you go south. But because he all missed the hurry yeah, up and get off the phone, ah! I said, "Hey, you not rush me." Mr. Harry, going somewhere. Angel, Angel, and her mom does this. It's, you can call him and be like. What's the address of this place? Okay, so when you coming down the street, you want to make sure you see the Shell Station. And before you get they to the next one, like I don't need all of that. You I don't know need, that you might. I just need an address. You are not more accurate than Google. Sometimes, I promise you. Sometimes, and, I, and, and all the stuff cases. that you're going to say, I'm going to ignore it anyway. And that's the problem. Then he'll call me. See, this is why. And this happened multiple times. Yeah, I no, don't really get lost. Like, all right, this is where I'm standing at. Where I go now? I need a short and sweet. <laughs> all the details that they give you, you end up forgetting half the stuff that if they say. If you would decide to listen, it's not a rush. I have listened. I tried that. I tried that. And I was like, uh-huh. You are okay, choosing what did you start off with at the beginning? Because I don't forget all that because you don't went into so much detail. You're not listening. That's that Kentucky in you, though. Know. That's part of being from the South. You just got the, you got the color. You got the color. They all do it. It's Seven not about color. It's that I know if I've been to this area. If I'm giving you specifics, it's because I know the specifics are going to help you get to where you need to be accurately. Okay, so when you come to the gray building, you're not going to go in that building. You're going to keep going and you're going to make the third left. So back when you... Because you probably would want to think it was the gray building. That's the reason why I Two minutes later. So when you go up the step... It's not that long. Okay, I'm going to call you when I get to the gray building. I'm going to start this thing over. I don't got time then. I promise you. Long... When <laughs> Love a good phone call. Look, this is what I do to Kev, though. Oh, I don't say. I won't even say this is a pet peeve, but she does do this. I just expect. No, it is a pet peeve. You should be rushing me off the phone, oh, and that's okay. why I call you back. That's right. I will call Kev ninety times in three minutes. <laughs> oh. Man, oh, yeah. if she is driving somewhere. Okay, Kev. So what is it? All right. What time are you gonna be home? Seven. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Hey, but I know I just talked to you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you should feel loved. You gonna be home? Okay. All right, bye. You know what? Let me tell you what my I just talked to my sister between that time I talked to you. <laughs> she said you gonna be home wrong, sir. Ain't that crazy? She said as well. Right, so so yeah. Hey, when we was in high school, that was crazy. Yeah, but our junior year, you ain't got some cookies. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. I know I keep calling you. Bye. It's my last time. It's my last time. I love it. She literally would do that. This, 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 this is the one. Call me while I'm shooting. I know you're shooting. Listen, one thing. When I was 16, what was my favorite color? Purple or gold? Because I was, it was purple. Okay. All right, but it was purple. You know I'm shooting. You know. You should feel the love. And I know she feels the love when you pick up door and shoot. That, that, she's, it's got to be like, y'all, he loves There is no quicker way to able to snap at you. Rather than her be cheating, shooting, and you know it, and call her anyway. <laughs> Angel, I mean, listen. To I'm that working. <laughs> what am I doing when you call me thirty times? It's different. <laughs> it is different. You see that? It's completely different. How is that different? His work don't matter. No, it's so not. So then she call me the thirty what times. Then I start answering. Yes. It's <laughs> what is needed. For our jobs is different. Marcus can do his job with Not the phone. Not if I'm in the middle of a meeting. Now, meeting, that's different. <laughs> oh, everything's just different with Angel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but at, on every that. phone call, there's an asterisk on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's going to start texting first. This is different. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say Pick it up. Him. This is different. <laughs> yeah. But he know I can't be on camera acting, talking, and talk on the phone. If I had a job where I was What's sitting there like this. People are watching? No. Because my voice, my thoughts have to be going to the camera, not into because the phone. Because people are going to see it. No, it's not the people. I can't actually do the job. Why? Because yeah. I have to talk in my job. Okay, I know. Not sometimes, no. <laughs> sometimes you don't. That's what I pick up. <laughs> no, I that That's another thing. Lie as much, again? As much as, Lie as, again? As, as much as Angel is on her phone and talks on her phone, she is so hard to get a hold of sometimes. I'm like, 
So now, by the third phone call, I am pissed. Oh, man, that day, that, I was like, truck stand. Why haven't you answered your phone? Oh, oh I felt it. It, was on sale. it ain't never on sale when you hear it. She had that phone on, do not disturb, but you called me. Kevin, he's the one there and tapping. She said, oh, you know what? I just I know you just talked to her. <laughs> Well, your phone is never on silent at the house. You be missing my phone calls too. You know, no, no, I purposely I don't answer your phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fine. Yeah. Uh, no, Marcus got froggy. You gonna be in trouble later. <laughs> no, she gonna call you in three weeks. Yeah. Hey, what's your phone? Right I can't it. answer it on purpose. You remember when you went over no, and don't you you went yourself. <laughs> no, Marcus, don't be Marcus. Be missing. I'm not good. I can call you late. Oh, I had to go to work. Marcus knew I had to go to work. This man went to Target right before I went to work. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> what happened to all your business? He goes, wait a minute. He has two phones. I'm calling both of them. <laughs> calling both. One is sitting at the house. The other, I don't know where he had it. Hey, with me. Hey, with me. All right. Well, as of the week, I think I was off. Oh, I, did. I was on swing shift. Newly on swing shift. This was a here's the thing recording. All my day is off. I don't know what time it is. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> In my defense. And I accept this, Mark. <laughs> I had right. asked to, for us to shoot early. And now I'm late to the she early was. shoot. I was like, I don't know where my husband is. And I can't she leave my kids. Hey, I'm y'all. I'm gonna be late. Marcus is gone. I came out the shower right here. I don't know where he went. He probably ran down to Target. I was when she like, came home, he came later. She was like, he was at Target. I was like, <laughs> Money would be on that wall. In that wall. Let me tell you what I know. If one thing it is, two things for sure. Hello. I said I have not ruined my vacation. No, uh No, no. I'm trying not to step in no man mind. I got three, four more days. Yes. Yeah. Uh, gonna have an attitude internationally. Kev, uh, Kev, are you excited about your birthday? Not really. I don't know what it is. This has been happening. I used to not understand why my dad would not be excited about his birthday or about Christmas. But now I just be like, I be, I be thankful to be alive. I'd be grateful, but it'd be just another day. It'd be just like, oh yeah, it is my birthday coming up. I used to really be hyped about my birthday, be excited for the month. As soon as April 1st hit, I'd be like, basically my birthday. Nah, I ain't got another 30 days. My birthday is Saturday, and I'm just like, mm. I've been like that too. I don't know what it is. I just, I've been trying to personally hype myself up for this next one. With that big photo. That's 40? Yeah. I don't think I'm excited. I'd be like trying to trick myself, but it's like, yeah, I don't know. Everybody but if you ask me what I want, and I, I'm I can't to, even think of a gift. I can't think of one thing that I'm like, this is what I want. Yeah, you're actually the worst. I'm literally think, the worst to try and get a gift for. I, there's nothing where I'm like, I even went to Gucci. Like, I even went to Gucci. They're like, he's bought everything. I was like, I don't. I can't think of, and it ain't even like a money Amazon's thing. The devil. I literally, <laughs> yeah. She's like, what you want? I was like, well, I don't order everything. Low key, <laughs> Melissa's mom got me a. Uh, she oh, has got, got it. it today too. She got me an Under Armour mask, two Under Armour masks. Some this gift was somehow it fits perfect because I the, the the ones like this I always feel like are too close, yeah. and the one that's off of my mouth looks like a bird's beak. It yeah. just looks stupid. I'm glad you said it because I I, I hate it, but it's not on my face. Yeah, and she got me a little Under Armour mask. I don't know what it is. The padding and setup it fits perfect. And I'm like I can wear this because I was worried like not worried but. We went to Hawaii, had that thing on for five hours. I was like, this is literally the worst. Yeah. And, and I'm starting hurt, traveling. Start hurting back here. And it was hurting on my mm -hmm. ear. That's why I wear my little And her thing has the little, uh, the, the yeah. string part 
it's uh, it's it's not this string. It's like I don't know. It's soft. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is yeah, a really good thing. I have the most so do I. <laughs> sensitive ears. Mm -hmm. Melissa, if you flick my ear. It'll turn red and die for like an hour. I can't even wear earpods. So why your ears are hot? Like, bro, if you should not have put it out there. Miss me off, she'll flip my ears, and I'll be like, "You now, you know that's gonna be hot for an hour." And a half. I can't do headphones that are on like those Beats by Dre and stuff unless they're doing an ad. I can't wear earbuds, earpods, earpods. Oh. Really? It feels like somebody's trying to split my ears open. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what it is. I gotta go all the way over. My headphones have to be all the way yeah. over. No, uh, I But the uh, math, it does hurt the back of my ears. Ma it's bruh, I feel like it's pulling me. Yeah, no, it's them things. But anyway, my whole point of saying that is she got me that gift that I did not ask for, but I just tried it on. I was like, yo, this really fits great. This is really thoughtful, I guess. But if you will ask me other than that, and listen, ask me like three weeks ago, and I was like, I don't know, watch maybe. No, no, I don't think that. Socks. No, no. Because I got my Fitbit. My Apple Watch got I'm so into watches. But it, I only wear about Samsung watches. I know what's a good gift, actually. You do know one. I just thought of one right now. Don't say it. Oh. Tell me. <laughs> Don't buy me a gift, guys. Gifts ain't my love language. What is so? it? So? Uh, words of affirmation. Now, I've been telling you stuff all the time. you going to get a gift. There you go. Okay. This has been another episode of Mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, y'all know Sorry. what to do. Uh, we'll be doing. And leave some thoughts on comments about what we need to talk about. Stop leaving it up to us to think about stuff. I know. Well, we don't want to work. No, we do. Email us at here's what we want y'all to talk about on mukbang at gmail dot com. <laughs> don't email that. Do not. Do not email that. It does not exist. <laughs> it's gonna come right back to you with mailer demon. <laughs> I don't like I that. Think it's like actually D D A E M O N. I don't care. It sounds like, sounds like demon. I just took that A. I was like, "Who's a man or demon?" It's a demon. I didn't know what's up different to y'all just said. It's a demon. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe and make sure you are checking out Crafts and Cocktails that is on Kevin Stage Studios app as well as this YouTube channel right now. When does the episode go up? When's what? The first one of, the, of this season on your page. Is it up what now? Today? What time? It went up later because I was like, I never agreed to do Monday. And they were like, oh, we want you to do Monday. And I said, I already got content on Monday. Oh. So I went ahead and put it up, but I'm from now on, I'm going to do Thursdays. I was like, it's not a good, I got brand deals on Mondays. It's just not a good time. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. That's not my fault that I accept the blame. <laughs> so silly. We talk to y'all later. Be blessed. Bye. That chick angel. Yo, she's comedy. Come